everyone, it's Shadow Speedy, uh, and today we're going to uh, make a regular old track, uh, you know, pavement track on NR 2003 and make it into a dirt track uh, without really having to do a whole lot. Uh, you only need to download two uh, additional programs, uh, which is Sandbox and the uh, Dat Unpacker. Uh, other than that though, you don't need to get anything else. Um, and you should be able to get this done, you know, within about 15 minutes. Uh, so I'll give you a kind of a rundown on how you can go and do that. Uh, so we're going to go into our NR2003 folder, uh, tracks, and then we're going to pick a track that we want to make into a dirt track. Uh, what we'll do here, we'll take uh, Bristol Knight, make a copy of it. Here is I'm gonna go and grab uh, here and grab the dat unpacker here. Look like I have it. So let's grab it from here then. And the downloads will be in the description there. To kind of keep things looking a little bit nicer here, I'm gonna go and do it this way. And we're gonna find our dat file. Let's copy that, paste that in here, and then let's move this over to our dat file. And then the other thing you're gonna want to do is find the shared folder. And you're going to want to find the dat file here and unpack it. Now, I've already done that um, in here. Uh, so it'll be shared.dat. And then what you're going to want to do here is go and grab all of this. Copy that. And go to our dirt. And go and paste that in here. It's gonna take a little bit of time to go and move all those files over. And if you find this helpful at all, or if you're interested in uh, more of these, uh, definitely give it the uh, give me a subscribe. Uh, definitely help me out a lot. Uh, I'm trying to get up to the thousand uh, subscriber level here. Uh, so if you can give me a subscribe, you know, give a video a like, comment below if you have any questions or anything. Uh, I'll be monitoring it and answering any questions that you guys have. Uh, so for this, uh, when this comes up, just don't copy anything. And then we're going to want to open this up in Sandbox. So this is the track here. So what we're going to want to do next is we're going to want to go and change everything here. So we're going to change it from concrete and we'll change it to dirt. And then to kind of see what we're going to be changing to dirt here, so you can see the kind of where it darkens up a little bit. Uh, so that's going to be considered dirt now. And then what we're going to do here is we're just going to go forward, change this to dirt, 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 dirt. And I'm just simply pushing D on the keyboard because dirt is the only thing that's available. And then when we get all the way around, it's going to have dirt already. And now the high line here is all dirt. Then what we're going to do, we're going to click on the next lane down here. And again, this is what we're going to be modifying here. And we're going to go back to dirt. And we're going to do the same thing. And 
there we go. So now uh, the entire track here is going to be considered dirt. Now we'll leave this um, as pavement down here, uh, but we'll keep everything else at dirt. So then we're going to go and we're going to save this. Go in, we're going to copy this go into this area and just simply going to paste this in and we are going to go and rename first name we're just going to add dirt to it and I'm just going to go and copy this and then anything that says Bristol Knight we are renaming to Bristol dirt Bristol Knight dirt Like that. Now, one thing you're going to want to do here, uh, I'm just going to actually go and copy this all. So, we're going to copy this and add another line and paste it in again. But instead of concrete here, we're going to make this dirt. Now, you're going to want to have this at least at 2. Uh, I find 2 gives you a really slick uh, track. Um, I usually like to be a little bit closer to 3. Um, so we'll do 2.9, we'll see how that goes. Um, the reason why you want to have it up so high is the dirt naturally doesn't have any grip as it is. Uh, so you're going to want to have it a little bit higher up like that. And we'll save this. And you should be good to go from here. Uh, I don't have my wheel plugged in, unfortunately, right now. So uh, I'm just going to control it right up, I guess. I'm going to have to recalibrate and everything here because it's going to be like, hey, you don't have anything plugged in. Single race. Take off Indianapolis. Go to Bristol Night Dirt. Should load up perfectly fine here. As it did. Uh, one thing I would go and modify here. Uh, hopefully, this isn't too loud for you. Uh, open the fast setup. Uh, is lower your tire pressures down to um, as low as they'll get. Uh, I find this will give you a lot more uh, grip when it comes to um, being on the dirt. I don't think I got my steering done. Uh, or it did not calibrate. Uh, or it didn't calibrate it properly. There we go. And as you see, got dirt. Feels so weird playing on a controller. Uh, but yeah, that's kind of what you can do there for uh, essentially making a pavement track a dirt track. Uh, one other thing you can do to make it a little bit looser, throw all that weight to the back.
hard when you get a card inside you like that. But uh, it's a good kind of proof of concept. I'm not very good on a controller. I'd do way better here if I was on the wheel. Oh, I'm gonna get hit again. But yeah, um, that's kind of how you make a dirt track on uh, Energy 2003 from just using a regular default uh, pavement track to a dirt track. Uh, like I said, uh, try this out. Let me know how it is in the comments if you guys have tried this at all or let me know what tracks work really good with the on dirt track and uh, leave a comment. And if you got this far, definitely subscribe. Thank you everyone for watching and I will see you guys in the next episode. Thank you so much.